Hi, welcome to Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia. Today I'm going to do a review on Dragonfire for the Intellivision. This was released in 1982 by Magic. There was a version for Atari 2600 and Coleco. Today we're going to review the Intellivision. This is a standard disc and television controller as you're familiar with. This is a modified with a ColecoVision joystick on the disc controller. An easy modification to do, which actually lifts the disc and actually plays better than an actual ColecoVision controller. ColecoVision you can use an Atari 2600 controller. Alright, so we're going to start the game now. I'm going to turn it on here. Choose my options here. And here I am with a controller. This you couldn't play with the disc controller. The graphics are not as good as the 2600, but you have the art. As you see how I'm moving with the modified television controller, this game would really be difficult to play without this modification. If you have the ColecoVision version, you probably would want to use an Atari 2600 controller. This television modified controller plays pretty much like an Atari 2600 controller with the two buttons. Now the archer is throwing arrows at me. This is really difficult. And this feature is only television and ColecoVision. The archer throwing arrows in the tower. Very difficult. my review of Dragonfire for the Intellivision, a game that you pretty much is unplayable with a standard Intellivision controller, but if you can modify it with a ColecoVision or something and have an actual joystick, it works well. Graphically, not as good as the uh, ColecoVision or the Atari 2600, but, you know, um, it's a fun game. Um, can't recommend it, though. I'd like to thank you for watching this video, and this is Ultimate Music in Winchester, Virginia.